Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I've seen something today that has angered me to my core being. My very essence has been changed on a molecular level. We're gonna be talking about Danny from Gang Grumps and the cancellation that tried to occur from the Rant Grump subreddit, which from what I looked into seems to be the detractor subreddit, AKA <coughs> Spurgs. Oh my God, I cussed in the first 30 seconds. I'm gonna have to mute that. But if you're out of the loop, let me give you a quick update of what has happened. So there is a young lady, a longtime fan named Nikki, who was a longtime mutual of Dan. She hangs out with Dan a lot during the summer. Nikki is 22 and Dan is 34 of as of 2013 summertime. Dan encourages Nikki that Nikki should bring a friend every time they hung out for safety reasons due to the age gap. Why? That's the first thing, right? That is, when I first saw this, I literally screamed out, yelled loud. I fell to my knees. I was like Superman dying at the beginning of the Zack Snyder Justice League. You could hear my scream across the world. Why? Two adults. I do not understand this at all. Like, yo, these, oh my God, I'm not even gonna do it. September, 2013, the fan and Dan meet and text each other normally. The fan turns 18 a month after their initial text. Dan is 34 years old at this time. So four years later, he sends her a happy birthday Remember, he sends her a happy birthday on September 2013. Hey, happy birthday. And then several years later, she's 22. She a grown woman. If she was in college, she would have graduated at this point. He sends her a hot tub video, which I watched. And it was, you know, I'm not going to lie. That's how he getting the ladies. And that's what's working for him. Hey, that's what's working for him. But it's like him showing off a hot tub. And he's like, hey, got a two seater here. You should uh, climb in seat one and we should uh, fuck. So I just got to my room at the resort in Mexico. Girl, look at this jacuzzi tub. Oh, it's got water jets that shoot out of the seats. They got fucking seats. Oh man, two seats in fact. Wish, uh, wish you were here to take up that other one and then crawl onto the first one so we could fuck in this. Anyway. You know, if that's how he's getting ladies, I ain't gonna knock it. He was the one getting the pussy off of her, not me, okay? And then fast forward to 2021, I'm assuming after he uh, got the pussy up off of her, he ghosted her. And then now to today's timeline, Dan is accused on the Rant Grump subreddit and the information several hours later spreads like wildfire on Twitter. Nikki comes out on Twitter and mentions the information that the guy here that packages together beautifully provided above. The fan herself mentions in the conversation with another reddit user that she does not believe dan groomed her however she does think dan is abusing his fame so let me give you a quick rundown okay you wish somebody happy birthday when they turn 18 several years later you catch up with that person and you decide to implement some dick in her life right you decide to put that dick in her diet that d in her d right you try to decide to dick her down from the back and she's cool with it because let's go ahead and talk about something if i see a woman with a fat old ass i'm talking that joint is fat middle eastern brown woman joint i can see the just ass popping toes white skin glistening in that golden sun and i decide i'm gonna pull that goddamn skirt up from the back and get it cracking from the back do you know what that's called i'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna say nothing i'm gonna ask you do you know what that's called you're not gonna be, be able to even write it in the comment section because the youtube bot is gonna come and clap your comment but it's a word that starts with r if I do that, if I decide I'm gonna go clap some cheeks from the back, no rubber, you gonna see all that cream on the cream sickle. That's a four letter word. Y'all niggas not gonna see no videos for about 20 years and I'm not gonna be able to get no jobs off that shit. Let alone work around women or kids cause it's, it's gonna be done. Like life is over. I need to just put a 357 in my head and get it cracking. Cause it's done at that point, right? That's not what happened. What happened here is we got two consenting adults that decided to, to sow that seed through tithes and offering. He decided to put Put her that dick in her diet he gave her the gift that keeps on giving some cock and then after he got that pussy up off of her he like you know he ghosted her is it shitty to be ghosting them i don't like ghosting you know why because why would you turn down some if they letting you fuck why you keep turning down the pussy niggas out here getting so much pussy they can turn it down shit couldn't be me definitely couldn't be me they turn they they getting it and ghosting <laughs> damn you you must have a lot of it lined up if you getting it and ghosting could not be me but you know what it says in the bible i shouldn't even be having premium marital sex so that's a whole nother thing so maybe maybe he realized what he did after he busted that seed so he gets the pussy he ghosts and now is a problem you know what it sounds like to me what it sounds like to me is she gave up that pussy she gave up that thing he went up in that shit from the back squeezing that neck fired one off deep into the womb you got the goddamn semen flowing through those fallopian tubes hey bro how long till we get to the egg <laughs> 
And then afterwards, she comes to realization when she sends those text messages and that Facebook pic or that uh, contact pic is gray or them blue them blue text messages are now turning green. Like, damn, this nigga really ghosted me like that after I gave him the thing that women, you know, the, the greatest gift a woman could give you some pussy. She, he's like, damn, I gave him all of me and now he gonna do this to me? Like, you think you gonna do that shit and then leave my nigga? Hell no. So now because you have done that, I have to paint your character. And what is the biggest way to destroy a man's character or destroy a man's business is by saying that he might be doing something inappropriate. And this is why I say when we're dealing with these scenarios, right? I say, hey, I don't approve of tricking. I don't like tricking. But truthfully, if you're making mad bread off this shit, you're better off tricking. Because the moment you implement that dick into the diet, once you give that gift that keeps on giving and that is some cock, once you plant that deep within inside the womb from the back, head full of blood and it shoots out and you see all your soldiers flowing through her body in her fallopian tubes as you guys meld into one beautiful being when you nut inside of it you give that person all the power so at that point if you're fucking them you might as well start dating them go ahead and get married to them because the potential for it to go left if things go left in your relationship is that this person could come out and say something that's damning and that's all it needs like i looked at the rant grump subreddit is a detractor community hey it is what it is but i'm not even gonna lie some of the arguments i was looking at on the rant grumps thing is like some of the most nitpicky shit hey aaron looked up a guide on twilight princess at 28 minutes and forgot to cut it out dude get some fucking lives like i i follow some detractor communities i really do i'm not gonna sit here and say like i've looked into like the ltg shit because i stay up to date because i can't watch every stream so i'll watch a, a a detractor thing every now and again but when i'm looking at this with a subreddit i'm seeing that they're like hey aaron's wife Susie bought one thing off of one website and then sold it another for up price it's like stay fucking poor bro like stay poor seriously we gotta start telling niggas that i read that shit the other night and my brain almost like i'm telling oh my god patches just started appearing in my fucking scalp like I, I was just sitting in the house like are you kidding me and then that's when it clicked i was like oh this whole reddit is we don't like these niggas and anything that can rip this shit down we're gonna attach ourselves to it that's that's all and i like let me go ahead and say this for anybody that may venture on this reddit that finds this video i don't watch game grumps i don't watch it at all but when we're starting to fucking form narratives to say that two consenting adults that one got groomed and manipulated <sighs> It's, it's like, yo, the fact that I even have to fucking explain this shit, it makes me so angry that I could rip flesh with my goddamn teeth. I could I could literally bite a whole chunk out of somebody's neck. That's where I'm at, bro. Like, that's how <laughs> that's how irritating this shit is. So it's it's completely fucking ridiculous. And then to show this to where niggas headspace is at it with this, right? Because this, this this is the type of thing where I'm looking at the comments. Um, Hell, even on the community tab post, I, I was reading some of your guys' comments and I don't agree with every single one, but I was like, okay, that's perspective. You know, we were sitting there reading it on the patreon only stream that you can get in for as low as five dollars we were sitting there reading it he's having a discussion about it i'm like okay i like seeing the other side so i can get perspective that's always a nice thing but when i'm seeing some of the twitter posts about this it's like oh my god it's like yo death note i literally would be laughing writing delete 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 over and over and over niggas names give me the shimigami eyes you got to go you got to go i'm sorry like i had to take a sip of my fucking yak dude like it is the most ridiculous thing i think i've seen all year and you john tron makes one comment about it so we finally get to finish sonic 06 and niggas sitting up there john don't make that joke john john remember what you did john like dude holy shit what the fuck is wrong with these people god this is the only reason why i say like again i'm not an advocate for tricking at all but if it's between fucking the fans and giving that power to the fan and tricking you're better off trick because guess what oh yo rob hey, rob out here buying prostitutes rob out here tricking yeah you could be dicking the fan down but if the fan loves you in 2021 this is literally a case hey the fan liked the person in 2027 didn't like them all that much in 2021 and here we are four years later in my opinion it's it's not even worth it on a website where our currency is how much people like us. That is the currency of YouTube. Do I like this guy? Yes or no? Call Me Carson's currency went down a whole bunch because collectively a whole lot of fans said at the same time, we don't like this guy. And now we don't know if the currency for that nigga can go back up. I think when you're that big, it can, but it's it's gonna be interesting to see if he ever comes back. So that's just the way I view it. If it's between tricking and this shit, 
where on this website, the way people view us is how much they like us, that's our currency, is not worth it. Because the allegation is damning enough to some of these people. And you again, if you let some people that hate you sit around and they sit there and form their opinions, they'll start to make up fucking anything in their goddamn... <laughs> They're mentally deficient, fucking cracked frontal lobe ass brains, dude. God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This shit just made me so angry. So I just had to rant about this. Whew, I feel better now, I'm sorry. I had to get that on my system. So that's my final thoughts on everything that we discussed today. If you're new to this channel, please give this video a like and subscribe. If you also wanna check out that Patreon with over 110 hours of additional content, also with daily streams, you can get in for it as low as $5. Also, if you haven't checked me out on Twitter and gave me a follow over there, it would be much appreciated. I'm trying to grow on all of my platforms, and you can help me. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.